time in defense. San Antonio opening up with Purdue on Carl Malone. There's the seven footer, Will Purdue. Stockton open off the curl. Utah 2 0. Playing Tim Duncan. Shot clock to seven. Five. Running out into the lane, Avery Johnson gets the roller to go. So Utah's leading scorer gets the first two points. A stop in his penetration, but he just stepped back and calmly shot the lefty 18 footer. Malone got the interior pass inside of Purdue and got the lay in. Born in the Virgin Islands. Didn't start playing basketball until he was 14 years old. He was a swimmer, believe it or not. Prior to that, Avery Johnson in the lane. Avery's feeling it. Well, he's going to a strong side, that little lefty side hand hook. Now, of course, you know the reason Purdue's guard Malone opposed to David or, or, or Tim is because they don't want to get another big stars in foul trouble trying to battle Malone. There, Purdue fronting Malone now. Gets in behind, but Malone's in too deep. Way too deep, Bob. And what's free throws the rest of the way in this half? Spurs haven't committed one foul. Carl, Hornets Bulls, game two of that semifinal series at 80s return. The Lakers Sonics game two follows up. Good night tomorrow night on TNT. Johnson running. Used the basket, went to the reverse well to score inside the seven foot two inch. <laughs> He can come in and turn the game around, or he might not get any minutes at all. Got a big pick from Ostertag, Stockton kicking to Morris for three. I rest my case. We were traded for Ronnie Cycli midseason. Very famous story. Cycli refused to report. Both of them went down to Orlando, had to come back. Didn't like it, but both fit in pretty well. Foster turned into a start. Pick and roll with Ostertag and Stockton. Oh, Inside nice. to Ostertag as Purdue came out, and Ostertag missed it. Purdue gets the loose ball, throws it away. Stockton comes back. Eight San Antonio turnovers. Oh, okay. Inside Ostertag. Powers. Rebound Duncan. I love Kristen Woods. But well, that's what you have to do when you got seven footers out there. You got to be creative. Avery Johnson inside. That's creative. Inside to David Robinson. Still no sign of Hornacek. Yeah, he's back out of the bench, this Hornacek. As D reported, he had a slight ankle twist. That's why he left it in at the locker room. Stockton gets the bounce. That'll be the ankle and only slightly here. Had eight points and kind of keyed the run for the Utah Jazz. Robinson inside, and he gets the ball and one. So Robinson will go to the line with it. Greg Ostertag. Only played six minutes, picked up three personals, and goes to the bench. And then right there, steps out and goes into no man's land to help. Greg Popovich told me before the game, Monty Williams and Herrero would probably play, meaning going eight and nine deep in their rotation past the usual seven men, simply because they were playing Utah. Gets the triple. It's 37-29. San Antonio pulling in. They were down by 14. Malone! Nice hands. Herrera playing excellent basketball offensively, getting inside the defense. And remember, this San Antonio team led the league in two key statistical categories, kind of waiting an opportunity to re-enter this game. Down on the clock, Avery Johnson blows past oh. Stockton, and Avery is having a very good game series between two evenly matched teams, even though Utah won 3-1 in the regular season in the series. Inside David Robinson and Robinson starting to score a bit more now. He had to go in the first half. Stockton finds a way to the hoop. That's that the leading scorer for San Antonio coming out of that Phoenix series. Not Duncan, not Robinson. Everybody questioning whether or not he strained his back. He's such a tough warrior, you'd never find out by asking. Ryan Russell trying everything to get away from Monty Williams. But look at the, the weak side movement. Look at the offensive movement. Russell came out for the, the get. 38 seconds in the period, and Duncan, who's coming alive here, has eight. Stockton. Three! So many array of different things. Look at coming off the high pick and roll, steps back behind the three, looking for the three-pointer, and then drains it. His ability to turn the corner and so forth. When Utah got away with the foul there, is Robinson unable to convert from the line. 
Stockton open for that mid-range jumper, about 16 footer. Avery Johnson a little late getting there, and it's in this quarter, first four and a half minutes of the third, four blocks for the Spurs. They're down two. Stockton all the way to the hoop. Purdue foul, and one more shot for Stockton. Stockton, look at that. One more step up, and he might have had it, but he was a step and a half behind John Stockton. Goes to the contact, and then off his body, lays it up. The rebound for Utah. Stockton, all the way inside. Brian Russell, weaved around Purdue, laid it over the hoop, caused the turnover. Brian Russell came up with a loose ball. Oh, nice. Beautiful pass, Stockton to Malone inside of Robinson. Four-point Jazz lead. The inside, watch it closely. Corner set coming up. Malone using his body. Bob, we got a game going. Bailman points on the low post, and they're not delivering. Avery Johnson has it blocked by the big dog. Oh, baby. Listen to the woofing in the crowd. A lot of barking happening here. They're going to try it again. Not this time. Foster from the 15th foot mark. Avery Johnson sees a path to the basket. Gets it out to Del Negro. That's a two. Utah only 11 of 13. 10 free throws. Attempts differential. Del Negro turns it over. Outless Anderson. Look at a pass to Brian Russell. Boy, that was a nice play by Shandon Anderson. So he's not struggling, but his ability to take over a game and be aggressive. Sometimes he's so unselfish, he gets himself into a little slump, a little lull. And of course, and only one of three tonight. The Spurs getting to the line several times here in the latter part of this fourth quarter. Stockton trying to set up that pick and roll with Malone. Here it is. Stockton from the free throw line. Had to give it up to Malone. The mailman driving. Oh! The glass and one! You talking about coming up big. To regain the lead here. They're down one. Minute 30 to go. Spurs hoping to steal game one just as Houston did against the Utah Jazz. Inside. Duncan. Money. 33 for Tim. You got to go back to your bread and butter. That's Carl Malone on the post. And they did. And he answered the mailman. Because he's not as good at taking it off the dribble. That's Duncan. not what they wanted. Missed it. Rebound. Brian Russell. Jam. 